Welcome to Alquestro, guys. Our Gib River Road adventure has officially started. Uh, we're at Alquestro and we're here for three nights. Yeah, this, um, this place is uh, looking pretty good. Yeah, so we're not sure if the hype's real or fake. Um, we've seen some really great photos coming out of some of the gorges. Um, so very popular on social media, which makes always makes me suspicious. Yeah, so we're looking forward to just kind of checking it out and see what we find. Um, our first lookout stop is not bad. Um, yeah. And yeah, I think I think we could have a really good time here. So we'll let you know how it goes and show you as we go along. Enjoy. Cheers. We're starting our first hike at El Cuestro at Moonshine Gorge. Uh, and we're off to a good start with this beautiful escarpment bit ahead. Um, so they say to do this one earlier in the day because this last section is fully exposed but there's supposed to be a great swimming hole and some uh, some good shade along the way so Absolutely stunning. Oh, watch me fall in. We're following these pink trail markers along and it's just the best way to hike when there's no actual trail marked other than with these kind of ribbons hanging off trees or little rock markers to keep you on track. We're having the time of our lives in here. You can see around us, it's really started to open up uh, in terms of the landscape now. Um, but it's really just rugged wilderness, you know? It's fairly marked tracks, nothing's graded. Fun everything's walking. fun walking, all of it's over rocks. Any navigation required. It's fantastic. I'm in love, I want more of this. Going for a swim. Oh yeah, well deserved at the end of a long, well, longish walk, 5Ks. Yeah, um, it wasn't that long. No, it wasn't. It took us about an hour and a half. Um, had an absolute ball, and now it's time for this gorgeous water behind us. Mm. Woo! It's bloody glorious. It is so nice. Check out these cliffs up here. Oh. Nothing says Kimberley is like water holes and red cliffs. Yeah. Our next walk for the day is going to be El Cuestro Gorge. Um, we're aiming for the top area, which was McMicking Pool. Um, it's graded five. I don't know that it actually is a real five in terms of national parks, but certainly it's supposed to be quite difficult with some big boulders and rocks to scramble over. Alquestro in general so special is just the clarity of the water and these little water holes everywhere along the hike. So. This whole trail into Alquestro Gorge just seems to be super rocky and apparently we're at the easy end of it so I'm very interested to see what happens for the next few kilometres. Such a fun walk. Someone was whinging about the trails not being all that well marked. I think they're pretty well marked actually. And it, uh, you know, you need to do a little bit of navigation, gives you a bit of mental exercise as well as physical, and it adds a whole nother sort of layer to your walk. And um, 
this rock scrambling stuff is super fun too. Well, I can safely say this is well worth the hike. Oh my goodness, it is stunning. This is amazing. Oh, hands down. One of the best places we've seen. This whole trip. Especially on our own. I can't believe there's no one here. No. Oh. Enough. Absolutely stunning the whole way. Very cool. Yeah, and really, really pleasant in the afternoon. Mm -hmm. so, nice yeah. and cool and shady. Loved it. Good morning. We're up nice and early to do Champagne Springs walk this morning. Um, they're telling us that it's quite different from the other walks. Um, it's quite close to camp, which is handy though. Um, and essentially, it's 10Ks, mostly flat. Mm. Um, they say it takes four and a half hours though. We'll see. Look at this bloody beauty. That's a big tree. It is. God, the boabs are just phenomenal. And it's actually got leaves on it. We haven't seen a lot with leaves yeah. on them, but... Ah, oh, they're just a gorgeous monster of a tree. Oh, dry feet. <laughs> Some legend has put a carpet of paper bark down for us to cross this one. We've got a long way to go, so we're trying to keep our feet dry and not covered in mud. So wish us luck. We've hit the really exposed part of this walk, and I think it's probably just after seven. And you can see why they say to do this one early. It's a lot of sun. If it was in the middle of the day, it'd be pretty unpleasant, I reckon. We're coming up to the 4k mark on our walk. Yeah, a bit less than 4. Yeah, um, and so far we haven't seen anything too challenging. They call this one Grade 5. Mm. Certainly hasn't been Grade 5 so far. No. Yesterday's Grade 5 was a definite Grade 5. Yeah, like that was that was tough going from the mm. start to the finish. Um, and climbing up over boulders and cliffs and stuff. So I'll be interested to see what this last kilometre holds. I reckon it might be pretty full on. We'll see. We're looking for a thermal spring, so one of the many, many water sources up here is supposed to be nice and warm. I thought you could swim in it. Um, don't know about that, but we'll try and find a thermal spring first and then see. It's definitely warm. Oh, let's keep going. Let's see what we can find up this way. Oh, it's getting bigger. We're really hoping for a swimming hole, but... I think what we got is a gross pond of sludge, actually. That's pretty feral. <laughs> well, look at this ridiculous view. We've just crossed the creek and it's just beautiful. What a morning. Well, that's it done. Uh, Champagne yeah. Falls, Champagne Springs. Ten and a half Ks. 
four, nice. four hours. Yeah. So it was a good walk. Um, Beautiful like, scenery. We were climbing, clambering across, you know, these red Kimberley cliffs with water water courses beneath us. It was amazing. Yeah, this is definitely uh, one of the highlights here. The hiking in El Cuestro has just been phenomenal. Yeah, so good. Yeah, if you come here for anything other than the hiking, you're doing it wrong. Oh, look, if you come here for the campground or some sort of pseudo luxury experience, you're going to be disappointed. Oh, yeah. So apparently this place is called Explosion Gorge because of um, some what they term environmentally unfriendly fishing practices they used to use in the past. I reckon you could throw a few sticks of dynamite in there and get some fish, probably some crocs as well. Oh yeah, you do some damage. Hmm. There's a suspicious tapping noise coming from our truck. I think I might know what it is. <laughs> is that you? Dude, are you making suspicious tapping noises? <laughs> first thing in the morning on our last day here. Well, Zebedee Springs. Zebedee Springs, just to check it out. Um, it's a beautiful area though, apparently thermal springs. So hopefully we'll have a nice swim to start the day before we go and do our last walk. We're off on our last old Questro Station walk. Emma Gorge, this one. Yes. Looks good. It does. So apparently it's another one of the Instagram of paradises, but so far they've been worth the hype. So yeah, yep. um, we're going to enjoy this one and take our time before we head off down the River Road proper. It's definitely a more popular track, but it's still more of the same of, you know, some groomed, but lots of rocky crossings um, to keep it fun with the kind of unmarked trails, except for the arrows and blue dots. So just more of this, which we love. So bring that on. Well, that's it for Alquestro, guys. This has been pretty spectacular, I have to oh, say. Man. Absolutely brilliant. Highlights yeah. for me, 
have absolutely been the fact that the trails are ungroomed and you're just climbing and clambering over rocks the whole time. Yeah, not like your usual national park walks. Mm -hmm. It's been really, really fun. It's and really fun. Just immense natural beauty here. It's really, really quite something. Yeah, every walk and every gorge has had something just stunning to offer. Yeah, every single yeah. one. Yeah, somewhere to swim. Um, and we're really late in the wet season, so both spring fed yeah, and leftover water. Sort of keeps the water around. Yeah, just come. Mm. Fly into Kununurra, hire yeah, a car and come it. out. <laughs> it's the best, absolutely the best. Yeah. Anyway, we'll see you in the next one, guys. Bye. Cheers.